This is the Lyndon B. Johnson National Historic Park. All the world is welcome here, said President Johnson, the 36th President of the United States, regarding his ranch in Texas, also known as the Texas White House when he was in office. Come visit here to learn about President Johnson and his family's heritage in Texas, in the place where he was born, lived, died, and buried in. Watch this video for its location, hours, and tips that will help you plan your visit here. Like this video and write a comment. We really do want to hear from you so that we can keep improving our content. Welcome to HitBig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is HipFig's Beautiful America National Park Series. This episode is the Lyndon B. Johnson National Historic Park, also known as the LBJ Ranch near Austin and San Antonio, Texas. The Lyndon B. Johnson National Historic Park is located at 100 East Lady Bird Lane Johnson City, Texas. The LBJ Ranch is located in the Texas Hill Country. The park has two visitor areas separated about 14 miles. The Johnson Settlement Visitor Center, where the boyhood home and park headquarters are, are located in Johnson City, and the LBJ Ranch is near Stonewall, Texas. This video is focused primarily on the Johnson City section. Please note that there is no public transportation to Johnson City or Stonewall. You'll either have to rent a car or bo uh, book a tour from Austin or San Antonio. The LBJ National Historic Park Visitor Center is in Johnson City and is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The self-guided tours of the Johnson Settlement are available from 9 a.m. until sunset seven days a week. There is no fee to visit this historic park. We drove in the morning from Austin, Texas and drove about 60 miles to Johnson City. Just after the gates entering the ranch, on the right hand side was LBJ's birthplace, the first place we visited. From the parking lot, we walked across the street and walked the serene gravel trail lined with oak trees to a little white house. This quaint home was constructed in the 1880s by Samuel Johnson Sr., the president's grandfather, and then the president's father, Samuel Johnson Jr., bought, uh, brought his bride, Rebecca Johnson, here in 1907. In this modest home, Lyndon B. Johnson was born on August 27, 1908. This home that you see before you was uh, reconstructed by the Johnson City Foundation in 1964 to its original 1907 size and appearance. Please note to use the restroom and get some water here if needed. After a short visit to the birthplace of the president, we walked across the street back to the Johnson Family Cemetery. Most of the people buried in the cemetery are related to Lyndon B. Johnson. The rock wall you see before you was constructed in 1946 to enclose the cemetery and also protect it from the effects of the river flooding. It's a private cemetery so you can't go inside but you can uh, see all the headstones or many of the headstones prominently, especially the presidents. Uh, President Johnson's gravestone is the tallest marker in the main row. Another interesting thing um, that you'll see around in this cemetery are the live oaks. Now these uh, live oaks are particularly um, unique because they are evergreen. They keep their dark leaves um, year round. After a short visit to the cemetery, we got back into our car um, into air conditioning because it was hot and continued following the signs to go through the um, LBJ Ranch. As you can see here, uh, the pathway is pretty clear. There's a lot of signs directing you which way to go. Uh, FYI, you can uh, download uh, the LBJ Ranch driving tour um, online through the National Park uh, Service app. 
um, and you can listen to the audio tour as you drive through the route. This section that we're traveling through right now is called the Johnson Settlement and it has a lot to do with the early ranching ventures that the Johnson family um, started. You'll see a lot of structures uh, like the windmill, the water tank, and the cooler house. Uh, you'll see a lot of barns uh, like the James Polk Johnson uh, barn or the Bruckner barn. And there's also a small cabin uh, where Samuel um, Johnson Sr., the president's grandfather, uh, brought his bride in. Um, and then at the Johnson settlement, uh, this is where you can get out of your car and make a 10 minute walk each way and allow about 45 minutes where you can see exhibits and following structures telling you about cowboys, cattle drives, and Texas frontier life. Uh, we continue to drive uh, down the path to the Airplane Hangar Visitor Center, which is in the Texas White House uh, complex. The Airplane Hangar Visitor Center serves as the information sta uh, station for the LBJ Ranch District. It's open daily from 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. One of the most interesting facts um, about this LBJ ranch is the um, airport runway that actually LBJ had constructed. This refurbished plane that you see in front of you uh, was placed into service to transport Lyndon B. Johnson and his family to and from the Texas ranch. Whenever the president was aboard, it was uh, received the call sign Air Force One. This Jetstar plane uh, was 60 feet long and 54 feet wide, and it carried a crew uh, and 13 passengers. Johnson called it Air Force One Half. The Boeing Jumbo Jet 707, which was the Air Force One, um, was too heavy to land at the ranch, so that's why they switched to the Jetstar uh, planes. After viewing the plane, um, it was hot, so we went inside the Hangar Visitor Center. Inside the Hangar Visitor Center, you'll see uh, lots of exhibits, um, which display life and work on the ranch, as well as there's a section for Lady Bird Johnson, um, also on the space race. You can also view a film, uh, film called Our Hearts Home, uh, which plays three times an hour. And of course there's a gift shop and restrooms as well. I think I, uh, the section that I enjoyed was being able to eavesdrop on excerpts of telephone calls that President Johnson made uh, from the ranch to Billy Graham and Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, and there was also a small room in the back where you can see where he had prepared gifts to give to people he visited. Um, and also, you could see his all his cars that he had on the ranch here. We continued to tour the grounds and walk to the Texas White House. Uh, leaders from around the world visited J Johnson's here, and during the Johnson administration, it became known as the Texas White House. President Johnson was the first president to create a functioning White House away from Washington. Unfortunately for us, a temporary closure of the Texas White House uh, was in place due to safety concerns from uh, structural issues. Please check um, at the Visitor Center or the NPS website for more information. If you're interested in uh, LBJ's life, from the age of five through his high school graduation in 1924, please visit the Texas State section in Stonewall. The state of Texas manages a visitor center near Stonewall where the visitors can obtain a free driving permit to the LBJ Ranch, which is managed by the National Park Service. This attraction will take you at least half a day or more, depending on your interest. I thoroughly enjoyed my visit to the LBJ Historic Park site. Um, it's a great window not only into LBJ and in the 1960s but also his life as well as the culture and history of rural Texas. Highly recommend it. Happy travels! Go to hitfig.com for more information or watch our other videos on the HitFig Travel Channel on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe.